Hello dear students. Today I am going to explain you chapter number 7 Boat Races Around the World. In this chapter there are different different kind of boat races around the world. So let us start. Veena and Rajesh had recently been to Kerala to spend Onam with their aunt and uncle. There they had seen the amazing Vallam Kalli boat race. Their friends Alice and Sam wanted to know all about it. Here in this paragraph it is given Veena and Rajesh had recently been to Kerala to spend Onam with their uncle and aunt. Two character name are there, Veena and Rajesh. And they, uh, they had seen the amazing Vallam Kali boat race. And also their friends, Aris and Sam, also wanted to know all about the Vallam Kali boat race. The Vallam Kali is all about speed, said Veena. Boat races are held in Kerala during Onam, the harvest festival. Then Veena said that Vallam Kalli is all about speed. Vallam Kalli and boat races are held in Kerala during Onam. Uh, and Onam is what? The harvest festival. The boats are called snake. Boats because they look like snakes with raised hoods with a towering rear and a narrow front. And boats are just look like a snake kind of boats because they look like snake with the raised hoods. As you can see in the picture also, here it is given that the uh, top level or the hoods are like a raised hoods with a towering rear. Towering rear means uh, the back part. Towering means very tall and the rear means the back part of something. So, uh, here that uh, it's very tall and also back part of something and a narrow front. So, all this thing, uh, the quality of a snake boat races. They, these are not ordinary boats. A snake boat is usually about 100 feet long and is made of a special kind of boat. And this is not an or ordinary boat. A snake boat, it's like a in which 100 feet long and a made of special kind of a boat. It takes a lot of patience and hard work to make a snake boat. Specially trained craft people work for months to make a boat ready for the races. For the uh, race for, and the snake boat race, it is like a take a lot of patience and hard work and people specially trained for that uh, to make such type of boat. Then Sam asked, how many people does it take to row a, such a long boat? Because it is a hundred feet long, so how many people are there in that long boat? At least a hundred oarsmen. What is oarsmen? The, uh, the persons who are just uh, carry or just a uh, uh, guy that uh, main guide control and these are called horsemen and the helmsmen. Then there are at least a hundred oarsmen said Veena. Then there are four helmsmen and 25 singers. And then Veena said at least hundred people just sit on the long boat in which there are four helmsmen. That means the person or the people who guide or control a boat. And also there are 25 singers. The singers stand in the boat and sing the vanche pattu the song of a boatman and the 25 singers they stand in the boat and sing the song of a boatman that is vanche pattu the fast rhythm of the songs encourage the oarsmen to row the boats faster so what are the who are the oarsmen who row the boats and the song encourage them to row the boat faster thousands of people Throng the banks of the river or the lake to watch the races, said Rajesh. Then Rajesh said that so many thousands of people are just uh, come up or uh, make a fill up or crowd a palace on the banks of the river or the lake to just watch beautiful races. The boats are colorfully decorated as we were 
watching a race the boat seemed like fast moving snake heading to a finishing line because start with the finishing line the rhythmic splashing of oars along with the songs and drum beats made it even more exciting and uh, the boats are just move in a pattern and with the song and the drum beat so it is like a beautifully occasion or the festival and the uh, competition which is even more exciting what we really liked about the boat race is that it is not about winning a trophy and what is important or like in this boat race that is it is not for the winning a trophy it is all about the unity and the spirit of friendship among the people of kerala that reminds me of another festival i was reading about said alice then suddenly alice said yeah yeah that also remind me of another festival i was reading about in a book and what is that festival the dragon boat festival of china that is more than 2000 years ago a chinese poet called q u wan drowned in a river what do you mean by drowned that is uh, died by sinking into the water or we can say that being unable to breathe in the water the person drowned in a river and the local people loved him when they saw what had happened they took out their boats and raced to save him but they could not find his body people celebrate the dragon boat festival in his memory in every summer so that is the story behind the dragon boat festival of china and what's that story that is that 2000 years ago a chinese poet uh, uh, q yuan and the people loved that person but accidentally he drowned into a river and the people could not find his body so uh, in the memory of uh, that poet q yuan uh they celebrate dragon boat festival they race boats beat drums and eat rice dumplings so rice dumpling means small balls of rice that cooked with vegetables or the nuts inside it so they just beat drums and eat rice dumplings it is celebrated only in china asked veena then veena asked that it is celebrated only in china then oh no replied alice no 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 it is celebrated in quite a few countries like hong kong taiwan singapore great britain so it is celebrated in these countries also the big event of the festival is a colorful boat race the front part of each boat is shaped like a dragon and painted in bright colors the boats can be as long as the snake boats sometimes one person sit inside the boat beating a drum and encouraging the boatmen to row faster and faster here you can see in the picture that shaped front part is shaped like a dragon and all are painted in a bright colors boatmen to row faster and faster it must look as if dragons are racing in the water i wish i could see it sighed rajesh then rajesh said i wish can i could see that race i wish i could watch the regatta storica live said sam then sam also said something that what he said that i want to watch the regatta storica i watched a video about it and it was very exciting or thrilling it is very exciting or thrilling then alice asked what's regatta storica she asked what's it regatta storica then sam said it's a boat festival a very famous boat festival that take place in venice italy on the first sunday of every september the boats sail on the canals of the city canals means the streams made for carrying water to fields where crops are grown or to let boats pass through the land here you can see in the pictures also both the sides 
the both the sides the city is there buildings are there and between the canals are there in venice canals pass through the city in such a way that the buildings stand right beside the water and people have to travel around the city by boats the regatta storica begins with a historical palace parade of boats and this race starts first with a parade of boats that is ceremony in which a number of people walk slowly or move slowly the crowd cheers from the banks and the bridges is there a story behind this festival too asked alice then alice asked that there is a story also in this festival then Oh yes said Sam the parade is held in memory of a day we back in we back in 1489 when the queen of cyprus arrived in venice now what is the story of regatta storica that the queen of cyprus when arrived in venice most of the boats were are gondolas and decorated in 16th century style the crew wears traditional costume i also saw wider boats decorated in white red and gold which looked absolutely grand so that is the story of this thing four races takes place after the parade the races are divided according to the age of the rowers and the types of the boats the boats race down the grand canal the winning post is a floating stage and hundreds of people gather all along the grand canal to watch the parade and the races many people watch the races from their windows now when i grow up i will travel the world and see all these wonderful festivals alice said this line then vina said i'll come with you I'll be a photographer and take photos of all these races. Then Sam said, and I will write about them in newspaper. Then what about you, Rajesh? I know what I'll do. Rajesh said, I'll be a champion boatman. That you just saw me, and I'll row the boat. So this is all the chapter, ah, uh, in which various boat races are there. first one is the snake boat race then the dragon boat festival of china then regatta storica so this is the chapter the boat races around the world thank you